Hello everyone. I am coming to you from the Dalles, Oregon. So we are just stayed the night here so we wouldn't have to drive. We're going to the Oregon coast with our family. And uh, I didn't want to drive about nine hours straight with young boys and kids. So uh, we stayed halfway here at the Dalles and uh, just about ready, about ready to take off to get to our vacation rental on the Oregon coast. So just want to do a quick live with you guys. Um, won't keep it very long, but I uh, want to just talk about how, you know, I reflect back on business and I've been an entrepreneur now for over, you know, about a decade and a half now, almost 15 years. And, and uh, I look back to the early days of when I started the business and, uh, and to where I am now. And I, and I think, you know, am I a better person for, um, you know, being in business, like what, what has business taught me? And, and I've just been reflecting, I think a lot of us in 2020 have had that time to really reflect on, you know, the person that we've become and, and, uh, and who we are and, and really like, do we like who we are? Do we like who we've become? And, and, uh, and so in this thought process, I thought about three things that I'm, I'm really grateful for within my company and, and that I realize um, they're all not just reflective of me and who I am and who I've become, but really who my company has become. And, and so really the first one, I just want to list three things, um, that I'm grateful for in my company. And, uh, I'd love to hear things that you guys are grateful for as well in your companies and maybe things that you've learned. Um, the first one is just having a team that, that gets behind my vision. I had done a live a while back with, uh, Shelly Williams and, and she had made a comment about, um, getting behind people's visions and making sure that you, you take time to get behind people's visions. And, and I thought about that and I was like, you know, I couldn't do what I do if I didn't have people willing to get behind my vision and, and how much I took that for granted. And so I really always tried to be present and aware of, and, and not take for granted the fact that I have a lot of people that are willing to get behind what I do, because if everybody just had their own vision and, uh, the, we couldn't accomplish as much in the world, but if we can all get behind somebody else's vision and then we, there's multiple companies that have a similar vision, then we can really start to make a difference in the world. And, and really where we align as people is really with our purpose. Like what, what is it that, um, why is it that we do what we do? And, and so I hope that a lot of the people that work for my company <clears throat> have a similar purpose of being true to themselves and striving to become the best version of themselves. And because those are the type of people that, um, I know will align well with, with me and what I do. And so, so that's the first one that I want to talk about that I was grateful for. Um, the second one is, um, I'm grateful for the ability to, uh, embrace the uncomfortable and become a better version of myself. I realize, um, I've been reading this book. It's called, um, everybody always, I believe. And it's around the concept of love and, and having Christ like love. And, and I, I wish I could, pull, I can't remember this quote that he had said, but, but, um, really, Embracing the uncomfortable, he actually use, even uses a word around embracing the uncomfortable and how uh, when we do, um, it's really grace that pulls us along, like to, to direct us into uncomfortable areas. Um, because us alone, like as humans, it's really hard for us to want to do things that are uncomfortable, right? But our human nature is like, oh, say where we're comfortable. And so I'm grateful for, I've, I've talked about grace before and some of my other ones, but I realized in this book I was reading yesterday that grace is actually a big reason on why we're able to get into uncomfortable areas. If we're willing to trust that there's a higher power that's willing to to get us into uncomfortable areas and willing to help get us out of there and, and figure out how to navigate through those uncomfortable areas, it's a lot easier to go into those uncomfortable areas. And, um, and I think like with business, it's, it's, you have to get into this from faster fear and willing to get, um, into areas that aren't always fun or enjoyable. And, you know, I've, if any of you watched the, the rocket launch from Elon Musk, I was like, here's this guy. If you read all the backstory of, of, um, I can't remember the name of his company now with the, um, with his rockets and stuff. He, um, he actually went to Russia and said, Hey, I want to buy a rocket. And they just laughed at him and he says, well then fine, I'm going to go make my own rockets. And he didn't know if it would ever be, happen or if it would ever come to fruition. Um, and it was okay if it didn't, you know, that's the, the funny thing with, I think as, as visionaries and entrepreneurs is like, we're going to do it. And yeah, we might fail, but we're okay with failure. And so, I'm, uh, I'm grateful that business has taught me to get over myself and, and uh, jump off some cliffs and to just hope that something's there to catch me because, man, if uh, any of the business owners watching, you know that that's a, that's a necessary part of, of business and um, taking it to the next level. So, all right. And then the next one is um, actually, I couldn't remember what it was. So I'm going to look at my notes here. 
um, just, I actually kind of mentioned it already, but it was around the concept of grace and, and a power larger than me that, that shows me the way and opens doors that I know I didn't open. And so um, if I ever got asked, if I ever like, hey, how did you do it? How did you build the culture you have? How did you recruit the people you have? How did you um, build the business you have? Like, I don't know if I could take credit for it. Like, I, I, uh, I realized that I, I saw the opportunities and I, and I know when things are right and wrong and I, and I take action. But like, I feel like the right people have been brought into my life and my company at the right time and, and the right moment. And I, and uh, so much so that I, the leadership team, I, I told them, I said, you're gonna laugh because after a while you'll notice after a few months that the right people will show up right when you need them. And, and it just keeps happening. And there's somebody, there's some bigger power at play that's helping, helping get, get our company where it needs to be. And so as much as I'd like to take all the credit for it, I just can't. Um, and so I, I realize that that's good though. It keeps me humble. It keeps me realizing that this isn't me that's doing this. And, um, and so I know that all these areas have made me, all these three areas have made me a better person and, um, hopefully a little less prideful and a little more humble. And, um, one of the sayings you'll hear me talk about a lot is be humbly bold. And, and, uh, I think that applies a lot to entrepreneurship. We need to not be, um, fearful. And uh, we have to do some bold things and some courageous things. And sometimes we have to make decisions that are going to hurt people. And, and um, it's not always fun. And, um, but if we know that there's, if there's humility behind it and we can start to empathize on what other people might be feeling and what the consequences of our actions might do, it um, allows us to navigate a little bit more. And so anyways, I hope I don't want to spend too long today on today's live. I'm going to get on the road here, but um, I just wanted to list a few things that I'm grateful for. And, and uh, I would love to hear if you're an entrepreneur, or an executive, you know, things, how you feel like you've become a better person through your business and, and things that you're grateful for. So if, if uh, I would love for you to comment down below on, on uh, just some, some things that you've learned. So, all right, that's all I have for today. I am going to get on the road and uh, go some, spend some time with my family and on the beach. So I'll uh, be doing some stories here and there to keep you updated on where I'm headed. So, all right. Thanks everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.